Okay, that's a success. What's a third skill we could use here? Hmm. I think it'd just be two. We'll say you have gained one follower who's interested in whatever it is you have to offer. Who hangs out in Leyland right now? Well, that's my cart guard. Well, you already had him. This is an addition to him. This is my shield bearer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is DJ back? Yeah, I just am, I am. Him. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of scenes we'll run real quick. So for you, Zeke, you are in the Lion so Show costume with Ladine. Um, Silk, yes, not Zeke. It's the second was, time. We're back. <laughs> but like, to, in my defense. No, you're fine. In my it's defense, Fandolin. we are in Fandolin. We are, yes, we are in Fandolin. <laughs> and Zeke became basically Lord of Fandolin, so. Yep. <laughs> no, no I, you, you caught yourself going Z Silk earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We were talking about him like yesterday or the day before. All right, so Silk. Uh, you notice that Lenine has a new assistant. It's a red haired elven woman uh, who's going by the name of Valine Firecrow. She seems to have a bunch of kobolds who hang out with her, and they seem incredibly loyal to her. <clears throat> As uh, you're observing, this new help around here. Lenine goes over the list of supplies from Fandle, from Lila, and then she says, I don't have any of the holy water here. You'll need to head over to the Shrine of Luck for that. But uh, good work otherwise, down there in Layla. She's a pretty gruff woman, but she seems genuinely impressed with your progress. Uh, Silk thanks her for the compliment and asks about how a bunch of kobolds came to be assistance for the labor force since he's left. Well, I was a little bit skeptical of it, but Willane said they were good workers and they were going to follow her, and I haven't noticed any troubles, and nothing's disappeared. So, hey, yeah, we got some extra work around here. Oh, that's a win-win. <clears throat> Looks like we're not going to have enough carts for all the stuff that they're going to want to you ought to bring back to Layla. It looks like you're going to have to head up to the Miner's Exchange to see if you can get a couple of extra ones from there. Okay. Um, does... Uh, I remember her name. Hallia Thornton. Does uh, Hallia Thornton know we're coming? That she should. She always seems to know what's going on around here. Okay. I'll head over there uh, this evening before we uh, head in for the night. All right, for you, La Phantasma, you decided to go with uh, Pinchwit to go see Barthen. Barthen is, as you may remember, is an older man who's balding a bit. He's very excited to see you back in town and the boisterous energy that you bring with you. Uh, his gonna... two assistants, Ander and Thistle, are also here. Uh, but you notice uh, Thistle seems... Something seems off with Thistle. Oh. So I'm going to, of course, joyfully greet him. Okay. And, you know, just as all in airs, and then I'm just going to be like, let's talk private for a minute. Make a persuasion check. He goes with you. Okay. I'm just going to be like, so, uh, what's going on? Um, well, you know, it's just, you know, there's always something going on around here. Uh, make an insight check. All the things in garbage at. <laughs> <laughs> You get a sense that he's withholding some stuff, but after having a conversation with him for a bit, he admits that he's taken a liking to the new assistant at the Lion Shield Coster, but they were things were going pretty well, but she started talking about some scary stuff, and it's been making him feel kind of weird for the last couple of days. 
What kind of scary stuff are we talking about? He looks around to see if someone's listening, and he says, she believes the Storm Lord is going to come and wipe out the weak and the non-believers, and that I should join her. That seemed like a little bit much, so I hadn't gone back around her since then. Oh. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Well. <laughs> <laughs> She's she uh as a note he is a teenager, he's a little freaked out. Uh she sounds um quite special. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say um, you know, don't be completely rude in ghost there. But um <laughs> definitely definitely your uh immovable rod handy if you know what i mean <laughs> yeah she doesn't keep, keep her head like, but he not oh. <laughs> keep her at arm's length just don't be rude <laughs> maybe maybe it's a phase where in the hell okay as for you token since you're hanging out with the common people <laughs> Uh, you notice that uh, Harbin Wester is back in the Town Master's Hall and it's open normally again. Uh, it's a stone building with a it has a wooden roof and a bell tower in the back. The job board on it is currently empty. A part of you maybe is a little bit wistful about all the initial quests you took from that board. Is his office near, or is it's, no? It's in there. You can go inside. Oh, I'm gonna prance in. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to mash my finger on the board with a loud knock. Okay. I'm going to say, this is empty. And look at him sternly. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. <laughs> He's like, um, well, you, you know, Token, I mean, you all, you all handled everything that the town asked of you when you all were first here. And Honestly, the weather's maybe been too bad for there to be other problems that require adventuring types to go out. I don't know what's been... He, he whispers a little bit. I don't know what's going on, but winds have been coming out of nowhere. We've had some buildings damaged. Three people have been struck by lightning. When it's, you uh, say? Recently. They don't give me a time frame on this. No, wind, wind, wind. Wind, yeah, W-I-N-D. Oh, the sound of my people. What have you done? Well, I don't think we've done anything around here. Not that I know of. But we've we've also noticed a couple of people have gone missing over the last couple of 10 days. We, we weren't sure. We just thought maybe they had moved on at first. But they were because they were visitors or travelers. But I don't know. Something seems to be going on around here. Anything specific you remember at, about them? Uh, he just knows that they were visitors or travelers. They didn't have any real ties to Phandalin, so they weren't. They didn't even realize the folks were missing at first until other people came asking about them. Well, the important thing were any of them cute? I suppose. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Little people going missing and you not caring. <laughs> Looks like cute just have to do Poor it. neurotic NPC. You're just tormenting him. I'm going to pull out my... Uh, hold on, let me find it. Digs around in this bag. I'm going to pull out my shard of Gorthok and pick my teeth with it. I'll say, well, this is gone, so we don't have to worry about them. Are there any... Were there, was anything left around where they were staying? Did they pay their fees at the inn? They were current on any fees, and some of them had indicated they were planning to settle into the community. Some of them were going to be prospectors. Others thought about starting farms or businesses around here. That's what kind of threw us off. Some of them were leaving, so we figured they just changed their mind. Maybe they didn't think the town was the right fit for them. I suck my teeth and I look at him. I say, oh, well, 
Who would know more about this? I'm not sure, honestly. But something weird seems to be going on around here. Useless. I go back, I start to walk out, and I tap the board again. <laughs> and I look at him, I look over my shoulder, and then I walk out, and I head to the the inn. <laughs> okay. Um, after you all have had these initial interactions with uh, the folks at the locations you've gone to, uh, it's about late midday. Is there anything else you all want to do at this time? Does everybody fill everybody right. in? Yeah. You guys will gather briefly. So can update you that you all still need to very check him to try to look for extra holy water for the Church of Lathander. And you're going to have to go to the Lion's, uh, the Fandalin Minus Exchange for carts for some of the goods that are being organized. You and then you all can catch each other up on the other strange goings on you may have heard about. Yeah, I tell them that there there's some nice uh, kobolds that have become gainfully employed at Blind Shield Coster, <laughs> and industry is booming. Well, those are things are cute. Go get one. I need to. Like they're already working for essentially my boss. I who's your boss? She's the regional manager. Yeah, All right, Karen. Well, there are some missing people. Let's go. Where are they? Well, missing if I knew that, that they really. would not be missing. No, the the kobolds haven't really stolen anything. I don't think they'd be so brash as to be eating people on the side. I don't appreciate <laughs> a low wisdom party talking, trying to solve a mystery. There's some people missing. Oh, where are they? That's that's the question. <laughs> what if they were turned into kobolds? <laughs> yeah, but they wouldn't they still be themselves? Only kobolds. Like I'm still myself when I when I change shapes. Oh, I don't know. You 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 have moods. <laughs> I resemble that. Oh man. You resemble you have moods. <laughs> Listen, you're just mad that Soke ain't falling for your quote unquote charm. I'm gonna say we're together. <laughs> like, oh. grab Silk's hand. We're together. <laughs> oh, oh. Is, is it so? Yeah, we oh. travel all the time. Yeah, well, that means, I, that means we're together. And I'm gonna, well, and, and I'm gonna grab, and I'm gonna grab <laughs> Token's hand and just look at him. Yep, we're definitely a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, what too do I roll weird, to grab his hand? Too weird party. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what's going to happen these weeks. So I'm like, all right, I got some bits to run. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, we should probably uh, meet up with Halia Thornton before it gets too late, though. Uh, make and sure we all skip off and are... thing off. That's as where you can it. share your observations from Parton's provision if you want. Yes, I will share. All of that that I was okay. Aware so of. the kobolds are working for somebody who believes that storm god is going to punish people and and come and yeah. I thought the storm god was the thunder pig. It is. Well, well, you killed it. Let's go tell her. Oh, I'm sorry. No, the storm lord is one of the gods of. The Forgotten Realms. Thordak the Thunderbore was a creature that cultists of Talos the Storm were summoning. Oh. It wasn't oh. the god itself, it was a minion. A power, oh. but a minion. 
Well, then I, I would I would tell the the the, the little that the teenager just be like token. Now connecting the dots. Oh, I just told Harvin not to worry. <laughs> you should be worried, Harvin. I already was. <laughs> well, I'll go, uh, I'll go talk to Hallie call. Thornton. Uh, you all uh, figure out uh, what we should do about uh, Allos cultists. You still need to get the. The holy water from the shrine of luck, and you need to get the cards from the miners exchange. Oh, uh, Silk will go grab the the shrine of luck, holy water. Is he? I'm I'm a, okay. I'm a reassured. You enter the shrine teenager. of luck, and it appears empty. And also, immediately, can you can tell me you you run a place? Excuse me. It looks like the place has been ransacked. Oh. Um, uh, can I look and see if there's any scouring or signs of a scuffle? Uh, I'll let everyone who wants to make an intelligence investigation check. Yes. I will. <laughs> the DC. Uh, I was no very anything. specific the in DC, what I wanted to look for, and it would have been the, survival the, rolls. <laughs> Eve, all right, what's your survival bonus? Uh, plus four. I would have had a ten. <laughs> would have been a six plus four. No, not the way the information that otherwise would be here. Like, I love the DC to 10 because you guys have no end in this party. <laughs> it's fine. So <laughs> You we, all we, can, we, cannot nice find anything that... of interest here. Okay, we should I probably say... tell Harbin that, uh, that their local priest is missing. Priestess. It looks like it's for sale. Let's buy it. Yeah, con- if you would ask him, he'll be concerned because... He is surprised why Sister Gariel has not returned. As is Sarge, who has been wondering where she's been throughout this entire adventure series. In both you don't know where she's gone. Oh, she said she went to Neverwinter. We haven't seen her come back. Did somebody go loot her shrine and desecrate it? I don't know. I'm going to use the Wand of Secrets. Uh, I'd let you know if there are traps or secret doors in the area, correct? Uh, I believe so. It will discover neither within the Shrine of Luck. Um, let's r- trace her tracks. Everything looks well, cool here. That's the thing. If she's she's been gone for a while, somebody came. She's in been after. gone since before you all even were in Vandalin. Yeah, so somebody came in after we left town, ransacked the place. We don't know who it was. What they're looking for now, there's and no we don't, and we us. don't know, and we don't know when they ransacked exactly. Nope. Oh. Is there any water left? Because, uh, holy water, 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 no, that's all been taken. Okay, is there anything obvious that was taken that we would be able to be like, oh, well, the holy water that's worth money, and as what else was uses? taken? Do we know? Or no? No, they didn't really tell me anything like that. They just okay. said the place is empty. Are there any That's like sign of anyone who worked here? Hmm. You know, when water stays in one place and it leaves like the crust. Is there sure. any of that? I'm gonna scrape some off. <laughs> like we're gonna make Kool Aid mix of holy water. <laughs> <laughs> you may do so. It will not reveal any new information for you. <laughs> well, I say okay. We're good on holy water now. I guess we'll travel to Neverwinter. Well, we gotta get the stuff back to Lylan first. Uh, I'll go talk to, to uh, Hallie Thornton. Why don't we just send Alaric with the stuff back to Lylan? Because he's not with you. I know. And this is why. part of your mission, is to get all oh. of these goods and also bring them back. There's a lot of stuff you're gathering and also bringing back. Oh. So I was I an efficient you. mission. You had to escort a couple hundred goats. And then bring back a bunch of carts full of stuff. How many goats did we lose? Let's roll a D100. Nine. 
Oh, that ain't bad. We got one ninety. Oh, 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 hell yeah! All right, I'm um, in. Dead. All right. One well, of you want to come with me uh, to the miners' exchange? I have to go cards. join a cult. Okay. What? You wait. You're gonna wait, go join one? a cult? The you know that one. Well, okay. That's at the Lion Shield Coster. You should go, go there. Chat them up. I'll go miners' exchange. I will go to the Miners Exchange then. Okay, within the Fanlin Miners Exchange, it's always pretty busy in here. You can see a lot of dwarves and humans engaged in extensive discussions about trading and mineral rights in various parts of the area and access to specific waterways where some of them have been prospecting. A lot of activity around here. But you're able to speak to Halia Thornton. Uh Silk uh, explains the situation and told that she would probably know the goings on about the delivery of goods to Lylan. Oh, well, that can be arranged pretty easily. I understand that there is a large order that moves through Barton's Provisions and the Lion Shield Coster. Of course, we could provide extra carts uh, for our neighbors to the south. That can be arranged. <clears throat> very accommodating of you. Appreciate the assistance or the expected fee. Such a generous offer. Uh, when Are you alluding to something with her? Nope, not not at all. Okay. I, <laughs> okay. Um, when when would your uh, cards be available? Pull up to the line of Coster. We we'll can probably have them for you in the morning. We'll make sure that they complete their deliveries today, and we'll go through the process of acquiring some additional ones in the between time. Okay. What time of day is it right now? About late afternoon. Well, okay. if uh, you need us, you probably aren't, you probably all aren't traveling until tomorrow anyway, or until you head back. Oh, we uh, oh. we'll be staying at the Stonehill Inn. Yes. Um. Since you're always, you always know what's going on, uh, you notice people, any of your people going missing? None of my people have gone missing recently, but there have been some strange occurrences in our fair little town. Okay. I was just, just curious. Yeah, you, you always know what's going on, according to everyone that I've ever talked to here. So if none of your people are going missing... Maybe uh, somebody's avoiding you. Perhaps, but it does pay to know what is going on around here. She says meaningfully. Uh, Silk puts a platinum on the table and says, Hey, have you uh, noticed anybody coming and going out of the Shrine of Luck? It seems that uh, it's been ransacked the past couple weeks. There are indeed many things I could know. Uh, she taps the table four more times. I put down four more platinum. Well, since you did ask so nicely, she scoops up the coins. Let's see. That's pretty fucked up. Um, it seems recently that two groups with interesting goals for the future of this area have been making their presence felt in the region. It seems that the group of uh, lightning-flavored cultists you all were so fond of engaging with have not ceased their activities in the region. And it seems that a new group of people have made their presence known here. Uh, what can you tell Though me about these them? seem I don't know too much about them, but they do have an operative here who moves around at night. He seems a bit nervous. He likes to visit the Stonehill Inn in the evenings. But I believe he may be involved with his own religious group based upon my observations of my agents. Uh, do you have a, a name? And then... I believe he goes by Skeel. 
Thank you. Appreciate your assistance in this other matter. And Silk briskly walks away. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Yep. In the meantime, I'm curious, what are you all planning to do for the, the next day? So the next uh, day you're going to be in town. Join a cult. Silk's gone, so it's just La Fantasma there. <laughs> oh no, I, I. You said that you went to the miners' exchange. I did. I did. That y'all were talking. I. What do you want to do, Fantasma? I actually want to sit there after listening to Silk and them talk. Okay. I want to go around and start talking to the village people. Okay. And get from and gather information about what they've seen and heard. Over Make there. a charisma investigation check. Rip. You learned about the same stuff that you learned from everybody else, that um, the newest person to town to set up any sort of meaningful presence here is Valene. She started, oh man, I can't believe they named somebody Valene. Who works with someone named Lenine. That's so terrible. <laughs> there's the newest person to settle into the town and that there's a lot of weird goings on they can relay the same information the town master said that they've been hit by these strange wind events that have been damaging buildings unexpectedly and that lightning strikes have been unusually common lately okay um i want to go and nonchalantly stroll by vleen's inhabitants Okay. And just try to slyly look to see if I see anything peculiar. I'm doing like a little walk by and just meandering. Uh, make a investigation check. Charisma. No intelligence. Ooh. Christ. <laughs> Seems like there's a house and she and the cobalt's coming in and out of it. Just as a from a cursory glance looking out from it. Mm. I must take out the house. Okay. Uh what do the rest of you the two of you do for the rest of your day? Me, I'm going to go join a cult. In a cult. How are you going to go about joining a cult? Please I'm... instruct me upon the pro the steps you're going to take to engage in this. <laughs> I'm going to put on, I'm going to use my disguise kit to disguise okay. myself as a different goblin. So I'm going to stow my helm of dread because everyone knows me with that on. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to tie up my hair and use a Hydra Spike. I'm a new goblin. What's your name? Uh, broken. <laughs> uh, 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 All right, so you're, you're dressing yourself up as a different kind of humanoid with your disguise kit. What do you want to do once you set up this new getup? I'm going to go see the girl. All right. I mean, she's going to move back to her house over towards the end of the day. You want to go visit her and her at her domicile? Sure. Yeah. Okay. La Fantasma. You've been staking out this place. Make a stealth roll. Oh. A goblin you do not recognize approaches the building. Oh. <laughs> <in> the door. <laughs> I'm a I'm a uh, watch very closely. From Before afar. I get deep into this nonsense, so what are you going to do with your evening? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go to the Stonehill Inn and talk with uh, with. Ooh, it's not Toblin. It's it is Toblin. It's, oh, it is Toblin. I thought it was wife. Man, I couldn't remember. <laughs> I'll I'll talk with Toblin and. Uh, Ask him uh, 
seem skeel around. He'll tell you he's a weirdo. He usually comes around at night. Um, he says he's a prospector, but I've never seen him prospect in it. As you know, I tried my hand at that before, before I set up the little one here. At some point during whatever Token's about to get into, uh, the door will open and it'll close quickly and Tobin will tell you, I think that was Argus skill there. Uh, Silk looks, did he, was he coming or going? It looks like the door opened quietly and then immediately closed. Okay. Uh, Silk will like move over off to a window to see if he can see Skeel moving around down the road. You notice somebody moving out there. It looks like they're walking with purpose somewhere. You're going to have to exit the building if you want to see where he's going. And... Well, I have dark vision, so I will attempt to stay out of any normal human sight. Make a stealth roll and then a perception check. Stealth. Alright. Make a perception check. Hmm. You'll notice him eventually ducking into an abandoned shack at the edge of town. Meanwhile, token. You knock on the door, and eventually a kobold opens the door and asks in very difficult comment, uh, who are you? I'm going to say the winds of change have led me here. Oh my god, I need a As my... check. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to make yourself look like some of the old cultists you ran into before? Are you using any of their iconography or anything? I have the, like one of the claw gloves they had. Okay. Um, but that's about it. <laughs> What's he say? Uh, he's very confused, and he's going to say something intraconic to another cobalt. And do eventually... I... Go ahead. Do I notice this glove? Probably not. I don't think he would be, like, waving it about, because he's trying to sneak into this place. He's probably just, like, Doing like the weird thing, like opening his like jacket. It's like, oh, oh, I got the goods. Oh, so it just he just looks all sorts of suspicious. Okay, cool, <laughs> got it. I'm gonna keep lurking. Eventually, Valene approaches. It's a, I think I said it's an elven woman with red hair. She says, "I, I take it you are um, potentially a friend coming to visit. Please uh, come into my abode." Okay. All right. You see the goblin enter the building, and then the door closes. Uh, At it's this a pretty point, simply oh. appointed place here, Token. Uh, they ask you, they provide a chair for you for you to sit in. She sits across from you at a very simple table. Yes. Tell me, what uh, what is it you bring here for us? Oh, I just came to offer myself. I hear about these storms and they excite me. <laughs> Deception, girl. Oh my goodness. How much for a cobalt to bonk this goblin? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. She's got a lot of different things, but that's not one of her things. Mmm, <clears throat> interesting. Roll deception again. In the meantime, I would like to, after I see this strange humanoid goblin, whatever, enter the house, I want to creep up to it to try to listen in on conversation. Make a stealth roll. Make a perception check. 
Why can't I roll well with the fucking... Oh, God damn it. I see. I hear nothing. It's absolutely quiet. It's soundproof. Listening up against the wrong door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll just... Uh, she, the house. You see immediately that she gives a small smirk. She goes... The weather has been pretty strange here lately, and you seem very intentional in your approach here. I don't know what it is you think that I can do for you with this. I don't control the weather. Let me say, the word is, you follow the storm, Lord. Did I come to the wrong house? Curious. And who says that I am a worshiper of the storm, Lord, around here? Oh, I don't follow all of the pitiful people. I don't know any of their names. I'm new in Come to think of it, I don't think I've met you before. And who might you be, traveler? Broken, not tired. <laughs> I see broken, not tired. And what are you hoping to accomplish in your fealty to the Storm Lord? Well, I happened upon one of the shrines, uh, and I was blessed. I enjoyed that feeling. Uh, I was led to a site where I saw a battle with this large pig and some dirty adventurers, and I tried to provide aid, but it didn't. It just stopped. So this is all I got from it, and I pulled out the the thing, the sh shard of its one of its tusks. So you may check it out if you wish. I don't know if you have any ways to use magic to discern if it's real or not. And I, what is the nature of your blessing from the storm? Uh, I got. I was able to cast lightning bolt three times. You were, and you've already used it three times. You must live a very interesting life. Broken, not tired. Well, there are these ogres that were trying to chase me on my way here. I'm not very good at fighting, so I had to use them. She takes the tusk from you, and you can see there's an almost reverent nature to the way she holds it. You got another uh, deception check for me. I'll give you advantage on this one. Because you're using some useful props. Oh, I don't think she can beat that with her roll this time. Let's see. I am curious, broken, not tired. As a as one who claims to serve Talos, what information might you have about the strange visitors who have made their presence known in this town? They seem to have inspired much confidence in the people of Fanduin in the brief day they have spent here. I haven't met them, but I believe they've received some kind of prophecy with two dragons, and I just spill what they're expecting. What are they expecting? I need you to tell me. In a situation like this, when you're meeting with what you presume to be the, leadest, the leader of a potentially enemy group, I can't let you hand wave what information you're giving or not giving, because that's a, that's a ripe for argument later with the DM. I think they're getting ready to fight a green dragon and a bronze dragon. And some undead. You seem to know a lot about these individuals. How did you come across such information? 
oh, I just sneak around here and there, and I listen. Curious. Perhaps you'd be interested in helping us accomplish a task in the morrow, then. What's that? Well, you'll need to stay with us tonight. But tomorrow, it is our understanding that these would-be heroes are going to be returning to Leyland with goods that they have procured here. It is decided that these adventurers are too troublesome to allow to continue cavorting about the region, and they will be dealt with tomorrow. Are they tough? It is our understanding that they are indeed quite difficult to subdue. We will be using lethal force to deal with them. Is there anything you can give me to help me f help you fight? I'm curious about the nature of your abilities and your devotion to the Stormlord. It seems that you don't need much more help from him as you have apparently been able to avoid notice from these heroes in some of their very specific endeavors. She holds up the tusk of Thordok the Thunderbore. I just sneak around if I have to fight. I don't have any more lightning bolts. Looks like you will be joining us in the battle then. As she gives you a dagger, says you should prove your worth and perhaps you will receive a future blessing from the Storm Lord. Okay. I take my shard of Gorthok back. Uh, where do we meet? She does not give that back to you. Okay, where do we meet? You will be staying with us for the night. Womp womp. Well, I guess that's fine. Unless that's troublesome for you and you don't want to spend time around your brothers and sisters. No, I just have to go buy armor and things that would keep me alive since I get a dagger. Are you not wearing your armor currently? No, I'm in my disguise. Okay. There's no time for that. Everything is closed for the evening, and any attempts at theft at this point cause nothing but trouble and undue scrutiny. Scrutiny. She will procure... Let's see, do these creatures have anything they wear? You will be given a set of leather armor. Oh, this is wonderful. Who made it? Um, I think it's just procured from within the Lion Shell Coster. Or oh. other normal stuff. It's just normal leather armor. Okay. Do I get a guard? Token's about to pretend to be a rogue. A guard? No, you are a new acolyte. You will be guarding us. Oh, okay. When do we go to bed? No. We have much to do in the morning. You're sleeping with me? Uh, you're going to stay in the room with the kobolds. One of them is going to be awake at all times. Okay. Let's go to bed. Okay. Phantasma, the, go the goblin never exits the building. I'm going to keep watching and trying to listen. Meanwhile, right. Silk, you are you have followed this individual who has now entered an abandoned warehouse. Uh, I rolled a wisdom save. Whether or not my character was going to be prudent, he is not. 
I love it. Love the energy. <laughs> Silk is going to attempt to follow the person into the shack and confront them. Uh, make a intelligence investigation check. You do not find the entrance that he must have gone into. You open the door to follow behind him, and he is not present. I rolled so high! The DC is 20, and the last time we did this, you were playing a prodigy wizard. <laughs> I guess this character's lucky. <laughs> so close to this character just dying. <laughs> You can return to the lion to the Stonehill yeah, Inn. I do. But you do not find Token and Phantasma for most of the night. And I have no idea where they've gone because nobody in your group talks to anybody about any of the plans any of you engage in. You just know Token said he was joining a cult and then you don't find Token for the rest of the night. But also there were no now, explosions. Are you going to attempt to rest at any point and get a long rest in here, La Phantasma? Are you just going to watch this house all night? No, I'm going to... Um, when I see the lights go off in the house, I'm going to watch for like an hour, and then I'm going to okay. nap. And take intermittent stakeout breaks and just make sure I get my lung crystal. Can't nap for a long rest. You gotta sleep for six hours. All right. Well, then I guess I'm sleeping for six hours. All right. You can return to Silk. You can let Silk know what's going on. Oh yes, I'm gonna tell Silk. Hey, so, you guys listen, never tell anybody in your party what's going on. And I'm, <laughs> I'm very important. If nobody comes back in two hours, Silk is gonna start rummaging token around. Token stuff. Token stuff is still here. I know. I'm gonna go oh, take his wand. That's an interesting wand. question, Token. Where is your stuff? Uh, Answer I... as you would. Is your shit all? Is all your shit inside of your ring? Yeah, sure. Okay, you cannot find token stuff. Damn it! I can't find the the one. <laughs> nope. Damn it. Nope. Okay, Silk is mm -hmm. dis disappointedly eating <laughs> eating a scone and sipping on soup. When La Phantasma comes back to the right. Stonehill Inn. Looks like Silk seems like he's being taken care of. You guys are not charged for any food or stay while you were here because you were considered heroes of this town. There's a second bowl of soup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Silk needs a pick me up. He's failed. Fantastic. You twice. return and you find Silk. He looks a little bit downtrodden as you come into the, into the inn. You may catch each other up on your prospective investigations tonight. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll go first. I let you know that there's a, a shady guy that just disappeared into a shack, never prospects, but still lives in town, only seen at night. Uh, completely lost him in an empty building somehow. Uh, I am going to relay, I'm going to be like, oh, and then I'm going to relay. There is a uh, weird looking goblin humanoid like thing or whatever uh, that I uh, never seen before go into uh, the house of, was it Varelli? Varelli? Varine? Whatever. Yes, there you go. Oh, that's right. They rival the spleen. Varine. And <laughs> had come out. So I'm gonna go back and stick out for the rest of the night. And you, have you seen Token? I tried to look for their stuff to see if I could find that wand that they're always <laughs> using, but I couldn't find any of their uh, stuff. Have you have you checked that uh, uh, the guy's closet? He might be in there trying to peep on him or something. Mm, I'm not going to go try to find such a such a place. <laughs> Do... 
Why mm-hmm. is the token suddenly a peeper? What the hell just happened? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of that. <laughs> It's, he is a voyeur, I'm pretty sure. He absolutely is. There is no doubt about this. <laughs> I'm watching plain sight. I, I, I don't know about the peeping part. You're not here. He's a voyeur, for sure. Uh, Silk will ask... Um, <laughs> talking about fun stuff when I'm gone. Talking about boring stuff. <laughs> so ask, has a, if he wants to help him search through the shack or if we wait until morning and work for blind shield coster and then try to find token well if i help you uh look through the shack you gotta help me stake out this house for the night deal okay all right you both can sneak back to the warehouse all right let's look for this secret door somehow he disappeared or whatever so roll stealth first, since you guys are returning to a location. Oh. Roll perception. Uh, individually, or? I don't, know, I don't think I would just let silk roll, because it's nighttime. Oh. One time I get a fucking decent roll. We're still good. You don't notice, neither of you notice, you don't hear anything moving around you of a phantasma, you don't see anything immediately out of, out of the, a mist around here. So you all may enter the warehouse. You don't notice anyone's presence in there right away. Uh, Phantasma, you may make an investigation check. Of course you roll from a fucking 16. It makes you feel better. You need to roll a 19. Yeah, you, you needed a 19 or a 20. I, I, just, I just wanted to see. My, this is no, what my I character don't would have feel done. Better. He does not find anything. It indicates any other ways in or out of this warehouse. Mm. Okay, mm. you've helped me. Now let's go st- stake out that uh, stake out that building. Token, what would you like to do during this evening that you spend with the kobolds? We're gonna chit chat. Okay, make a general we... charisma check. Oh. The cobalt did not find you particularly likable. <laughs> well, I'm going to say <laughs> I'm worried about tomorrow. Uh, are there? How, how do we fight? <laughs> well, when they gather all of their stuffs, we show up and then we kill them. Are going to be in one big group? I mean, they're adventurers, and where what do, what are you good at? Magic. I pointed all of them. Which one? One of at least one of you know magic. No, we don't. We don't know magic. We just beat them up until they stop moving. What about the lady? I don't know what she do. But she does not use magic before. She so she just uses knives. Is she a knight? She, uh, she's very quick, very sneaky. Good shot. Oh, okay. Uh, do do they what what does what does it do they have all like their gear here? Yeah, I mean you can tell basically. It seems like they wear leather armor and shields. They have spears. That's about it. I'm going to ask if I can have a spear. No, my spear. Would you it have, have like knife. A knife. I have spear. I nice. earned spear. You didn't earn nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I heard a story before about knives being a lot better than spears. but okay. No, you will keep, not trick me. It's my keep spear. Your spear. <laughs> my spear. I earned spear. Uh. Are there any specific, are there symbols on their shields or anything? No, interestingly enough, you get a sense that whoever is operating here, they're moving pretty quietly. You haven't noticed any sort of identifying marks that would refer back to Talos thus far that you've been here. But as a note, you were in a living room and now you're in a bedroom. You have not gone anywhere else. Where do we use 
the bathroom? Outhouse. Can can I go? Or do you want to walk me there? Uh, two of the kobolds will walk you to the outhouse. They will not allow you to close the door. That's fine. Y'all can watch. They will. The whole time. Wow. So what do I see on the way to the outhouse? I mean, you're just in Fandlin. It's just a town. Well, I mean, inside. Like, I have to... I went to a bedroom, so I have to... Oh, yeah. Room. So you come out of the bedroom, back into the living room, you saw. You notice just normal stuff that people would have in there. There's normal food and stuff. There's random bits of clothing that have been kind of discarded. Looks like the kobolds sometimes play a game involving dice that are left out in the li- on, like a, uh, like, a weird end table. Do we, um... Do I see them going to this outhouse? You do. At some point, you see two kobolds escorting a goblin to an outhouse, and then he enters the outhouse, and they're just watching him while one, and one of them keeps looking around. I'm gonna jab Silk and be like... Right, you can wake up Silk. Oh. Oh, he's awake, or he's asleep. Oh. I mean, yeah, you guys are alternating. You're trying to, you're trying to oh, make yeah. a sneak out here. Somebody's got to be asleep sometimes for this to work. All right. Never mind. I'm just gonna just be real kind of grossed out really there's some freaky like, shit going like on you could still house. wake me up like that's not the problem it's it's um silk has a higher chance of beating the con save so silk will probably take a longer watch than you anyway <clears throat> all right you all right so what would you like to do so do you wake silk up or no no okay. no i'm just okay. gonna watch and i'm just gonna be like that's a nasty shit that's going on over there. Uh, right. How long after you finish handling your bodily functions? Well, while while I'm peeing, because I okay. came with at least my billowing cloak, my my uh my cloak billows like to match the <laughs> the the push of the stream. Yeah, the stream. <laughs> Even the drips. And then I'm going to say, okay, I'm done. Can we play that dice game? Uh, sure. Okay. So we go back in. Uh, one of them leaves briefly. And wakes up the other kobolds, and they say to teach you how to play the dice game. And one of the kobolds who was with you uh, goes to knock on the door for Valine is sleeping. Meanwhile, the other's going to teach you how to play the dice game. It's a game they picked up in Baldur's Gate that I just read about today, because I was reviewing that adventure. I was very displeased with it. Uh-huh. So go ahead and roll 3d6. Okay, play passes clockwise. You can roll one more d6, and your goal is to try to reach but not exceed 21. You can just stand and not roll again, or you can roll again. Okay, so your total is 12. Cobalt number one gets... So it's 21 with dice. Cobalt 1 gets 15. Oh, Cobalt 2 gets 17. Cobalt 3 gets 13. Cobalt 2 wins. He takes the pot. I can't roll again? No, you only get one. Okay. No, I guess you could keep going. In theory. Why is this loud? Okay. Still short. <clears throat> Now you're over. I oh, you must. You lose. <laughs> the kobolds laugh. All right. One more. All right. Go ahead and play your, your run. All right. So other kobolds are going to go. Let me get their go. There's a. Because you, you're supposed to see what people have. So the first one rolled a total of six. 
Next one rolled a total of 13. And the third one rolls a total of 14. Uh, go ahead. We'll go clockwise, starting with you. You may roll again if you'd like to increase yours. All right. Cobalt is going to roll. The one who hit six. He's up to 11 now, I think, unless my die disappeared. No, he's, like at, he's at, if he rolled this. Well, yeah, he's rolled a four, he became 10. Next one's going to roll. I think he just hit, what was he at? 19. No. Six, yeah, he's, he's at 19. 19. Ooh. Next cobalt's going to roll. He's up. Oh, he's only at 15. All right, back to you, Token. <clears throat> What's your total? 15, Fifteen. No. The yeah, other 15. one who's at yeah. like ten. Sixteen. He's definitely gonna roll again. All right, he's up to thirteen. 15. The next one is going to stand. He's not gonna roll again with his nineteen. The next one is only at fifteen. Oh, he gets to seventeen. Back to you, token. <laughs> sixteen. Uh, the one, other one's going to continue to stand. The one who was at 17 is going to risk it. Oh, he busts. Shit! He swears in Draconic. The next one, who was only at 13, rolls. Oh my god, he's only up to like 14 now. Back to you, Token. Do you want to roll again? What are you at? Nice. I oh. busted. Busted. Uh... Uh... Last one was at... I think he's at 15. I hope he's tied for 19. The other one chose to stand. Oh, 21. Slow Cobalt wins. Ha! Takes all the money. The other Cobalt start bickering around them. Oh, I need to check something real quick. All right. I want to try to peek in the window of this house without being seen. Make a stealth roll. Did you wake up Silk before you left? No. Okay. Get <clears throat> you peek in the night. window, there's three kobolds and a goblin playing some sort of game. And while you're watching this, a crossbow bolt comes from across the room and fires at the goblin. So, do I notice anything familiar about this goblin? Nope. Goblin gets shot in the back. Okay. He's got a very good He's got a very good disguise on. All right, and so I just watched this crossbow go fire shot at, at across at, at the goblin. Uh, you are sitting there at the table playing your little game with the other goblins as a crossbow boat strikes you. And you take... Did you do? Where? It's my oh, it was on their thing. Damn it! Give me my goddamn roll. I knew something was gonna happen because that fucker went so knock on fucking bleed. There it is. Door. You take twenty nine points of piercing damage as you look up and see an elf with a very stern look on her face. Fire as she fires her crossbow at you, and she says, It's a nice cloak you have there. Uh oh, what was the one she saw when I first came in? They didn't know it was your cape of billowing until you made it billow in front of them. I did when I said the winds of change have brought me here, and I had it billow in their direction. Then maybe I missed it with your very great deception roll. But the cloak appeared magical the second time they watched it, and they realized it wasn't just the win. Roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to see this shit starting to go down, so I'm going to go back and wake up Silk. You're going to have to roll initiative to figure out where, when you get to come walk, wake me up. Uh, it applies to your roll initiative, Phantasma. Oh. 
I didn't know because I was watching. I didn't know if I was... Well, it's going to be in real time. Uh, I'll be last. That's uh, fine. The Cobalts were also surprised by this happening. Oh, except the one who warned her. That'll be Cobalt 1. Cobalt number 1 is going to run up to you. And he's going to try to grapple you. Please make an acrobatics check. Oh, no. Oh, no. Little little people fight. (laughs) He succeeds. Where's my conditions? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he's got Missy set. Oh, wait, I don't even know if that's him. Never mind. You don't. I'm just watching you this shit. You are down. grappled by Kobold Dragon Shield number one. Oh, they have art. Oh, yeah, the art was good. My shield. My spear. Hey, at least at least all those surprise goblins right, only have these kobolds no were shields. surprised. So that was round one. That was four in round two. Okay, so we're now we're in round two. Kobold number one has you grappled. He is oh. going to. Oh, thank you. I want one. He is going to hit you. Ooh. Yeah. The first, the southern person would think that that is cute. <laughs> oh, they all have advantage. Oh my god, I need to fucking make a quick map for this so I don't lose my fucking mind trying to deal with all this shit. Pack tactics. <clears throat> yep, they do a good pack tactics. But you should drop their AC by two until they use a turn to put on a shield. Ah, oh, that's a good call. I'm just trying yeah, to save my friends in a neutral lawful way yeah would they have brought all their gear to play with the dice nope not at all let's see cobalt number one is holding you oh they don't have their claws programmed on here it's so annoying okay i'm just gonna use it no why you no work Why you no read pack tactics? Hmm? Oh, I use a ranged attack. That's why. <laughs> why do you guys have it as ranged only? Ah! Annoying. Wait, your spear is only to be thrown? No, oh, that's dumb. Yeah. It's just probably the way it's written poorly on here. Yeah, it says melee or ranged, so they didn't, because they didn't program it in here, right? That It doesn't parse with the way the thing works. Ugh. All of my tools. Useless. There it is. It's gonna Slightly hit better. you. You take two points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, he's gonna try and punch you again. Oh, he's going to hit you. All right, to make this easy, they get a plus three to hit. Your target AC right now is 12. So they get, like, they all get hits on you. So you take eight damage. You're at 39 wound. All right. To make this easy, all the kobolds don't know what's going on, but they're going to start pummeling you. It's your turn. What would you like to do? I am going to misty step behind the outhouse. Okay, you're going to Misty Step. Oh, that's an interesting note about Misty Step. Let me go read the spell. Because this is where things get a little interesting. I think you have to see it. Uh oh. Briefly, Sarlan, and Misty, Miss, you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space, space that you can see. Okay, next to the outhouse. The outhouse is not visible from the living room. It only The only windows exit out to the street. Well, then out to the street. All right, you misty step out to the street. You see La Phantasma braced up against the window immediately. What do you want to do? You have your action. 
And then with my action, I'm going to cast Sickening Radiance. You cannot do that. You cast a spell as your bonus action. Uh, okay. What can I do? <laughs> you can cast a cantrip, but you can do any other actions. But you cannot cast two leveled spells with an action and a bonus action. Oh, well, it's either shoot, or. Shoot the lady then. You cannot target her through the window, as per the way spells like Eldritch Blast work. I'm going to hide. <laughs> you can hide next to La Phantasma. There's a goblin hiding next to you. You do not know this goblin. Well, actually, since it's dark out, I'm going invisible. Can you do that with your action? Yeah. Okay. You can turn invisible. A goblin poofed right in front of you, similar to how you've seen Token behave before, and then it vanished. Okay. Oh. Hmm. You all do not know where the Master Thief is right now. Oh, I'm going to change her name because you guys don't know who she is. Valine. Valine? Fire Crow. Okay. She is going to not appear where you are. I wonder what she's going to do. Yep, I think that's what she would do. Let's roll a d20. Okay. La Phantasma, what do you want to do? I'm uh, seeing she all this. She says something in Draconic. Does she know Draconic? Nope. Common no. Thieves can't. She'll say to the, go the kobolds, find the goblin and bring it back here. And then you notice she goes out a back door. What would you like to do, Phantasma? I am uh, seeing all this kerfuffle. I am going to sneak back quick and wake up Silk. Okay, that will take your action. And then I'm going to go back and follow the lead. Uh, I think you can just wake up Silk, because you're not going to have enough movement to do all this running around. Uh, Silk, roll initiative. Glorious. Not wasted. Yes! <laughs> Alright, you wake up Silk and you start running back towards the the building. Silk, what would you like to do? You can stand up for one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what would no you like to do? Um, uh, did La Fantasma tell me where where anybody was? Mm -hmm. We'll just say he oh. says... Oh, and we'll house. say he gave you the short and just say the goblins got magic and they're fighting. Cause that's, fair. that's, that's, about, the he, that's about all he'd be communicating with his rush to go back. Yeah, I, I, I knew. I, I okay. Um, laid out back door. Go run here, house people, goblin magic. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Silk is gonna secure the back door then. Okay, you can go dashing towards the back of the house. You don't see anybody around the back of the house, but the door is open. Okay. Uh, Silk will post up next to the door. And something next turn, because he's out of actions. Oh, right! The kobolds all start running towards uh, their rooms. And grabbing their stuffs, and they're making their way out of the house now. With great haste, those kobolds move kind of slow. So this is kind of a shit show. Okay. Token, what would you like to do? Uh, so my spell says small or smaller flying creatures. It, does that mean smaller, smaller creatures and flying creatures or only flying creatures? What spell that are, are you smaller? asking wind, me about? Wind wall. Um, I believe it's accounting for all the creatures that would be affected. So, they're not, it's just not, it doesn't just involve flying creatures, just if a creature is small, it can't go through the wall. It is saying that small or smaller flying creatures, so those are adverbs. 
accounting for that. So small or smaller flying creatures can't pass through the wall. Not smaller, smaller creatures, just small or flying, smaller, smaller flying creatures. Those creatures cannot move through the wind wall. Okay. Basically, they're too uh, aerodynamic. They can get launched into the ceiling. Okay. Well, I'm going to cast Sickening Radiance now. On the house? <laughs> yes. On the and the sickening radiance get the entire house. Well, they, there are they still in the house? Yes, they haven't left the house. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't make it in. <laughs> That's very interesting. All right, let me grab your effect. So you're concentrating. All right. And I don't know how far back she is, but if she's still near. I am accounting for her. Do okay. not worry. She's about, uh, to, she's about to stab me. What's or gonna me. <laughs> well, I don't know. I uh, hit pretty well. well out from I the did. darkness, Silk. Uh-huh. <laughs> She has advantage because she hit on her last turn. A crossbow bolt fires at you. There it is! <laughs> oh. It's funny that I'm shooting Jazzy on a rogue crit because he played a multi class rogue. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ought to go kill this lady. No! Where'd my damage go? Just make sure Ugh. you take that 13 off before you roll up the next grouping. Slash die. 8d6. Ooh. Oh, I put it on you. Stupid Sarge. You take 46 damage as this bolt strikes into you. Oh, look. You can... I match up perfectly to go rage with, <laughs> with a bite. <laughs> Already at health. Uh, and then you are briefly aware of her positioning as she moves behind a house. And then you lose track of her. Is the house more or less than 40 feet away? She shot you from she ran up the back of the house. She had cutting action, and then she hid. So she would have moved 20 feet out of the house, dashed another feet. So she's probably about 50 to 70 feet away from you right now. Okay, 50 to 70 is good. Phantasma! You notice that a goblin reappears near you and casts a spell that you've seen cast before, and suddenly light Sickening green light appears inside of the house, and you hear kobolds asking and asking, making confused noises in draconic. What would you like to do? Uh huh. All right. So I got to figure out if Phantasma is smart enough to realize that that probably could be token, or am to I going to get freaked out and just punch him in his face? That is entirely up to you. Uh, you know what? You Who have cares? seen Sickening Radiance before. It probably didn't change his original demean uh, version. Okay, well, I am going to, to unique. calculate that. Okay, this is now token. Okay. Um, did I see this bitch shoot at Silk? Uh no. This is out back behind the house. And I didn't see her running out. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to sneak around the house to try to get an eye on Silk and have okay. my um, my pew-pew ready 
to shoot at anything that I see that is a threat. Okay. You can make a stealth roll to move quietly. Uh, are you <laughs> holding your action to shoot her? Because then you can't go stealthily. You can stealth. You can stealth to move quietly. You can do that at all times. Oh, but you can't hide. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not hiding. I'm stealth. I'm like quietly going. The stealth rules are not very well laid out in the game. It's really okay. annoying. No, I I just didn't want him to lose his reaction. So, was going for what do you want to do? Uh, Silk is going to go up and over the house and go prone on the roof to get her next turn, because I can climb. Doesn't matter if I'm raging. So, so I believe Silk, I Silk can goes climb. forty feet. You're gonna to the dash house. to get over this? Yeah, and then I'm going to dash onto the roof and go prone. Okay. Go down on the other side next turn. Uh you look over the top of the building and you can see that she was crouched behind some barrels and had her crossbow reloaded. Uh she looks up and she can hear you scrambling over above. She goes, Shit. Alright. The cobalt's turns begin. Oh, Lord. Yeah. All right. The cobalt is not happy about this. And comes dashing out of the front of the house. And I just... Yeah, it's going to have to dash because they only have 20 movement. Next cobalt succeeds. Saw what happened to its homie, so it's running out of the house, too. Succeeds. It comes running out of the house. And succeeds. They come running out of the house. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so they're all not going to be affected by Sickening Radiance next round. That one still has a level of exhaustion, though. And is emitting green light. <laughs> ah, such a useful coding effect. Uh, token, there are a bunch of kobolds who are now stumbling out of the house right on top of each other trying to get away from your sickening radiance. What would you like to do? Did Do I see the lady? Uh, no, it looks like she was running out of the back, so she's elsewhere right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to take flight. All right, use your bonus action and you start to fly away. And then I'm going to go 30 feet and then shoot at the kobolds. Okay. Well, actually, so I'm going to fly over the house, so I'm going to get behind them. Okay. And shoot in a way to try to drag them back in. Um, you're not going to be able to, because they're all like shoved up in the middle of the front of, the, like, the front door. Like, they're all, like, shoving past each other to get out of it. You're not going to be able to achieve that geometry with your shots. Okay. Well, I'll just shoot them from above. And I, I suppose say... the really specific fucked up thing that your spell allows is you could drag someone straight up and then they would take falling damage. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you may do that if you prefer. <laughs> You're just gonna yo you these kobolds. <laughs> uh. Would you like to pull that kobold into the air? Yes. All right. He takes an additional three damage, and it is prone. Second attack. All sides. Oh, let me make sure I adjust their ACs. Where is that? 13. Well... I'll have them put on their shields next round and they're out. They have to go back inside for their shields because they left them inside when they uh -huh. ran out. They're holding them. No, they, just don't I'd have already, them 
they got hit by the sickening radiance because they were they spent around trying to grab all their stuff. Let's see. Valene is aware of your presence and, and is going to recognize that she has been outmaneuvered briefly and is going to double dash and start running from you. Do I see her? Move. I say you'll see her. Well, you don't have dark vision. I'm assuming if it's the middle of the town, it's lit up. It's not that kind of town. They don't have, like, street lamps and shit. I'll say you can see her, but I'll give you a disadvantage in trying to hit her. I'll say you become aware of her presence, but you can make a shot at her. Okay. She dives out of the way as she try and shoot at her. She's going to run about 90 feet. She's going to be getting trying to create some distance between herself and you all is going to end up running behind another house. She will probably have to zigzag, so I'll say she's going to net like 70 feet on you at this point. Uh, Silk. But you're not entirely sure where she went when she turned around the corner. Because she is clever and waited until she got beyond what she suspects the range of a dark vision of a half-orc is. <laughs> La Phantasma! Alright. So, do I see the cobalts out the front door? I mean, you can hear the commotion at the front door. You're sneaking around the back of the house. Alright, well, I just shut it. What's her face? So I know they're not... I'm gonna go back to the front of the house. Well, okay. if I'm at the side of the house, I'm gonna peek around the, the side of the house. And I'm assuming I see all four of the cobalts right there. You do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the very last one in the row of Kabul. Okay. That'll be four, I guess. I'll give you advantage on the first shot because they're paying attention to token. All right, your second attack. And then, how far away are they from me now? I don't know. It's like the front of the house. They're probably like 10, 15 feet away from you. Oh. And then I want to try to quietly snatch the last cobalt <laughs> and drag him away. <laughs> I think you have to use your unarmed strikes to get your bonus action grapple off. Okay. Well, All that's right. I'll just stay around the side of the house then. And Silk, what you got? I use 20 of my movement to stand up. All right. How close is the next rooftop over towards where I saw <laughs> A normal civilian street in a sense like this. You could probably cross over to the other house because it's probably like 10 to 15 feet across. If you moved 10 feet, you could probably get onto the next uh, house if you step back and then jump. Okay, I would like to use my 20 feet of movement to run 10 feet in a straight line to then make a 10 foot jump that's basically free strength. I'll allow you to increase your dash and increase your total movement and keep going and maybe jump over to another house. I would like to do that and then go prone at the end, hopefully netting somewhere around 60 feet of movement. I don't think you're going to net 60. 50? We'll see. You're not sure where she is right now, though. No, but I'm prone on a rooftop, and I'm, I'm pretty sure she can't hurt me. All right, the kobold. This kobold's going to stand up. It's going to throw its spear at the phantasma. Uh, 
They were told to get that goblin, though. I don't think they're supposed to care about you. Well, you did just shoot one of them. Well, I, I <laughs> thought I, 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 well, I'm leaning back around the house again, so they're going to come around and come at me? Uh, let's see. That's an interesting question. Uh, let's see. What will kobolds do with their abilities? Cobalt number one is not going to provoke your reaction lariat feature because this cobalt is explicitly trying to maneuver with its movement to get behind you. Oh, with me? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, they don't want to come at me. Bruh. It's in melee range with you, but it's not moving towards you in a straight line because it's intentionally trying to run behind you. Hmm. Cobalt number two, however, will provoke the opportunity attack. Oh, is he? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to take an opportunity. I'm not going to react. Okay. Well, this Cobalt is going to attempt to... Oh, they don't have their shields on yet. They will drop them. Damn it! Trying to do a D8 damage with the spear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow that missed second attack but also missed cobalt number three he's coming for you too wait well, a they all minute went for me. I gotta move all of my kobolds into very specific ranges on this improvised <laughs> battle that I've set up to make, sure that my, to make sure that all of my goddamn features trigger the way they're supposed to to save me time and hassle. And it is such a pain in the ass. Oh my god, my cobalt are doing horrible. <laughs> With their pack tactics, they are letting me down. Finally. What does this thing do? <laughs> it rolled a one plus one. <laughs> all that, all that. <laughs> one plus one. Cobalts are button he's pushers. Gonna, They're not real bangers. He's a scratchy right, with okay, his you, you can see <laughs> that my phantasm is now surrounded by cobalts. <laughs> and I'm laughing hysterically. All because right, this so... motherfucker just scratched me. <laughs> So now that they're in front of the house, I'm sure some of the sickening radiance is seeping out the front. So I'm going to land. So like if you point in the middle and Phantasma's on the left, I'm going to land on the right. So for the general presumption about how sickening radiance participates in this at this point, you summon the sickening radiance inside of the house. Everyone is now aware of the hazardous effect of the spell. I presume that because he was running along the side of the house, Phantasma was not standing within the radius of sickening radiance, and the cobalts have moved such that they're not in it. So are you trying to have some of the effect pushing outside of the house, and you're trying to forcibly drag a cobalt into one? Is that yeah. what you're trying to have happen here? Yeah, I'm trying to land... So when I shoot and I pull them at an angle, they would be in it. Okay. I will only allow this to happen to maximum one cobalt at a time, just for the general sense of spacing and the fact that this started inside of a building. Well, I can pull one at a time anyway. The sickening okay. radiance go around corners? It explicitly goes around corners. Okay. As that was just the next question, just make sure that... that All right. That'll hit. All right, we'll move that cobalt over. Go ahead and drop the, I think it's like the last effect, the one that has the DMGO coding on that cobalt for sickening radiance.
I don't know what you mean. On the line on your spells where sickening radiance occurs is the second effect. It's the second button starting from the right. You have a save. There's an empty save. And then there's one if you hover over it says effect, sickening radiance, concentration, save O, con DC 15, damage 46. Oh, actually, your DC went up. I need to up, change that. It's your DC 16 now. So that oh, one. Ah, uh, yes. So drag it on the cobalt too. Correct. So on his turn, that'll roll. If he fails, he'll take the damage, and it'll drop an effect on him. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to hide. Uh, you have a second attack, so you can fire your second Eldritch Blast. I think I shot twice. Broken. The first. You fired your Eldritch Blast, you did your damage, and then you dropped the effect on the creature. You have your second Eldritch Blast. Yeah. You just rolled eye on your damage, so it looks like you rolled that twice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to allow you to hide. I think you can try to hide at the start of your next turn before shooting somebody. But we'll okay. say you have to use your movement to arrange the geometry of this effect. Belleen, she's gonna keep running. She ain't for this. She knows what she's up against. Mm, she does can hear you running across the rooftops. That's a pretty fucked up way for me to do that. I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> oh, but she's not a. She is an elf. She can see in the dark. Yeah, she knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phantasma, what you got? Unmute if you are muted, DJ. Yes, I am muted, thank you. I am surrounded <laughs> by four cobalt. Mm -hmm. Cobalt, all right. Well. Three. One of them got pulled away. One of them got yanked oh. off. As a note, you can, like, grapple people and, like, drag them into the sickening radiance that's absolutely oh, thing you can do oh oh here's here's the thing okay. i am going to use my new ability called tangle what does that do um so you attempt to entangle multiple force foes at once each creature within five feet of you must make a strength or dexterity saving throw the target's choice on a failed saving throw, the creature takes 40 10 bludgeoning damage is incapacitated. While the creature is incapacitated, its move speed is zero, and it can repeat its saving throw at the end of each of its turn, ending the incapacitation effect on itself with a success. On a successful saving throw, the creature takes half as much damage as it is it incapacitated. <laughs> That's four. I have it all programmed. No, three got three didn't get pulled. It was two who got pulled. Okay. This is my app. uh click on the save for dexterity. Just click on it. Now what happens next? Oh, okay. oh. Um they all um so it is the ones that on a fail, they take um, 40, 10 bludgeoning damage and are incapacitated. All right, so, so click the damage, click the lightning bolt. And the other one takes half. Yep, I did it. And then, and then the click the two... effect. Okay. <clears throat> so uh... one of the kobolds dies. <laughs> uh... And number four is now incapacitated from your effect. Number three is still functional. All right. And then 
that's my action. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to haymaker him. I'm going to say you have to, you oh. can do your haymaker if you take the attack action. I did take the attack action. Now you didn't use a special feature. What's but it was an action. action. Yeah, it's an oh, action, it was, but it's not the attack it action. The, um, it was, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um, and then, let's see. Well, I wasn't ready for a no. <laughs> 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 Let's not just be real honest. <laughs> it, it's okay to not not have something for your bonus uh, action. No, I know. I was just like, I wasn't ready for no. I was just like, oh, I got this planned. Okay. Well, <laughs> nope. I guess I'm done. That's a pretty <laughs> weak roll for you. I just realized that it's like a four, one, two, one. Nah, Jesus. It was, it was, I know. It was. Shit, All right, Silk. What you got? About it. Uh, Silk is about to. Be All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, gonna stand up again. Standing up, and is going to run over the rooftops, looking down into the alleys as he makes the jump, uh, trying to see the elf. As you're jumping across, <laughs> uh, 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 okay, she's got to do a cover. I'll be fair, at least. I'm going to shoot you. Oh, she did not disadvantage, right? Because I've got her on this board. God damn it. Punishing myself with my own useful tools. All right. She didn't crit you this time, at least. Take 22 points of piercing damage, and you are now exactly aware of where she is. At the end of your initial movement, she is about 30 feet from you and the edge of a building. Uh, so you're saying that I, I have... I, I think no I'll say that if you're willing to, I'll say if you're willing to dash and jump off the building, you can, can get with a melee range of her. But at the very least, you can, or you can like run along the top of a building, and you would know where she is currently because she is no longer hidden. But it is still your turn, so we'll see what you want to do. I would like to stay on the top of a building. And okay. if she is 30 feet away, I'd like to huck a javelin. Okay, go for it. She does not have a reaction available for that annoying feature. That was it. You all can hear some sort of ruckus going on in the distance with Silk and somebody. Uh, uh, Silk, other folks Silk are starting to wake roars up. roars and says, over here, loud, hopefully waking people up. And okay. she goes prone on the roof. All right. Okay, good. My goblin, my cobalt succeeded. Let's see. Where would the cobalt go? I got dragged. I think considering the net movement, the kobold is going to charge you and attempt to stab you. Oh, and fail. Oh, has two attacks. Hey! You maintain concentration on sickening radiance. This cobalt is no longer inside of it. Cobalt number three does not have an ally who is not incapacitated to help him. Was just given specific instructions about that goblin, though, but has to respect that you're a pain in the ass right in front of him. What does he do? I guess he's just required to stab you.
All right. For these kobolds that are incapacitated, what does this say for the ending of this feature? He went to the bathroom. Okay, let me pull this sheet down. It's like dealing with extra and extra special weird smells. Okay, 40 minutes I can pass through the kitchen guys it must be zero. I can repeat a saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending incapacitated for the success. It's kind of weird that you're making another dexterity save. Well, incapacitated is a weird condition. Yeah, whatever. Not overthink it. Okay, he's stuck. Berlin! You're prone on a roof. Oh. I think she's just going to. I think she's just going to run from you again. She's running, trying to get to where the edge of town, but she's running. All right, La Fantasma, back to you. There's an incapacitated goblin next to you, and another goblin trying to bop you. Uh, number two and four are next to you. I didn't get to go. Oh, did I skip you? I apologize, Token. Uh -huh. <clears throat> there is a goblin right on top of you. I'm sorry. I'm getting... You are a goblin. Number two that you dragged over, or was it three that you dragged over? I think it was three. Three, three gonna... is right on top of you. I'm going to disen disengage. As a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. And... Go up, straight up. Okay. And shoot him twice. <laughs> okay. Let me back him off from you. Go ahead. Is that it? Uh, it's not going to be blocked by a shield roll damage, because they never got their shields on. That one lifts him. All right. He takes five. Oh, he's dead. Uh -huh. Crashes on the ground. He is dead. All right. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, look around to see in the direction Silk yelled from. Uh, you can tell what direction he's coming from, but he's gotten a bit of a ways away from you all at this point. Okay. I'm just making, I'm noting the direction. Okay. I am on the rooftop. I think I Valine to is going to continue to be annoying. I thought she just ran away. Yeah, she's running away. Turn. Yeah, okay. she's going to keep running away. That's the most annoying thing that a rogue can do. They keep running from you, and every time you think you have an opportunity to kill them, they are holding an action and they shoot you in the face. Yeah. Well, All she, right. Fantastic. She goes ninety feet, and I can go eighty feet. She goes ninety feet, then I can't catch her. She also can't shoot me. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. Is for her, she's got to continue to play these games with your dark vision. So I think she's gonna run and dash. <sighs> Oh, she was 30 feet away from you. Yeah, when she dashes, she's going to make another turn. She'll attempt to hide again. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Oh, where's right. the map of Phandalin? At this point, we'll say her house was... Uh, north to the east of the town master's hall, and she has made her way. Uh, do, 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 do. she's making her way north, so she's gotten past. She's making her way like northwest, so she's past the shrine of luck at this point. So at this point, you all like started over here, and you're like over here now. Okay, or, okay. more like. More like this. That's kind of where your path is taking you. Okay. Fantasma, what you got? Well, because I still got these two kobolds, Rachel. I am going to 
looking to punch them. All right. Rip. Call Walter fast on uh, their feet. And then I'm going to haymaker him. Okay. Go on, Walter. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a 20 for a second. What? Then my haymaker, where is it? Just roll where damage on your arm strike again. Oh, I got it right. Right, 1d6 plus 5. Yeah, it's Remember just I fixed it? Strike. Yeah, it's just your arm strike, though. So. Yeah, I have That'd it next to my new... My, I have it next to the haymaker ability now. All right. Um, And... So I get to take two back for hitting twice. I don't think you get it for the haymaker, though. No, I don't. And only oh, right. when arm strikes hit. Right. Okay. There we go. All right. Yep. We're good. We're back at. All right, Silk. What you got? Uh, doing the math and hunting creatures. Silk knows that he can't win. But Jazzy hates it. Jazzy hates recurring villains. He won't let me have them. It's like, no, so mad. <laughs> <laughs> All of my games with Jazzy are defined by me having to work extra hard to create a recurring villain. Oh, Silk is going to be petty. He's going to walk back. He's going to burn her house down. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to call a foul on that one. Silk, as somebody who has a business in the town, would not set a building on fire. That was more against you, Serge. I can't win. Um, because no, <laughs> nobody followed me. They, they, got, they went after the... They, went after the they got bogged down in the cobalt, which she wanted to have happen. Yeah. They didn't have to. <laughs> they fell for you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I go back to... Go back and... Uh, at a leisurely pace, taking the hide action every time that he goes. Okay, good, because she's still she's still active in this. Make but a, she has the same dark roll. vision as me, so like. Yeah, make a stealth roll. Yeah, she has the same dark vision as me. As long as <laughs> I'm not late. Yeah, make a stealth roll. Ooh, interesting game going on here now. What is she gonna do? She doesn't feel like she's winning this fight. Oh, I also go straight south. Oh, okay. Cobalt! Oh, that one's still incapacitated, so it gets no help from its home. Okay. Let's see... It's a little bit desperate, but ain't got nothing else to do. Poor Cobalt, they're so brave. All right. Oh, that one's still stuck. What's she gonna do? I think she's just gonna R U N N O F T. You skip me again. Oh, my bad. What you gonna do, Token? Do what is the range of? Oh, hold on. I don't see it. What's the range of dark vision? Sixty. Uh, sixty. It's on your main tab. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is—they only got forty-five feet away. No. No, so the map on the bottom represents the distances being traveled. If you so, if you zoom out, there's a there's yeah. So forty five feet on that is more like almost five hundred ish. They didn't probably get that far, but they were making their way across town. Yeah, so we were somewhere between two hundred and three hundred feet away from you when Silk gave up. 
Oh, well, I'm, get, I'm how getting many rounds? Seven rounds. That was five rounds of silk chasing her. Four or five, yeah. Of at least 50 feet per round. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's about what she was doing. Yeah, she's probably cleared about 200 feet out of the place. So I'm going to fly higher. Okay. And get out my parasol. Okay. And turn invisible. How many times can you do that? Uh, any t- it, There's no limit on that. There's no limit on that. That seems wrong. No, no limit. Mm-mm. What is this feature you are using? One it's one of your shadows. invocations? Yes. What is this loud ass TikTok that keeps playing every time I go back to my browser? Is it Holy that dog shit. and cat? <laughs> no. Yeah, but I'm on the lookout for a lady. I'm going to okay. look in the direction Silk is coming, and I'm watching for her. Okay, sure. That's my turn. All right. She's got to stay hidden. But Phantasma, what you got? You got two gold bolts left who are involved with you. All right. The first cold ball dies. All right. That hits too. All right. Phantasma cleans up the rest of the kobolds. And end general initiative. We will... What I'll do, because you're airborne, I'll give you a single perception check. And we'll see if you can get any sense of where she may or may have gone in this. You will unfortunately not be able to find an immediate trace of her. Uh, particularly extensive tracking may allow you to follow her trail, but that will involve subsequent follow up that may prove difficult at night. Well, she doesn't have an army to attack us anymore, so I think our problem is solved. So I'm going to. Go back. You return down. to the group in your disguise. <laughs> I'm your gonna. Parasol. I suppose they figure it's you, given your. I'm gonna punch this parasol. strange goblin right in the face. I'm not gonna let him do that. <laughs> Token is going to remain thirty feet away from you, seeing the clear yeah, malice in him. your face. You're gonna shoot him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this goblin. He coming up on me. Mm-mm. Roll the twenty. You already know who he is. You already identified it as Token. Oh, I mean, uh, maybe no. You want to shoot him by all means. (laughs) I'm not going to stop you from creating this kind of drama. (laughs) No, no, I'll end up punning him at some point. It's fine. I won't shoot him. I'm going to descend and go. Into the house, into her okay. room, and rifle through her belongings. You will find a talisman with three lightning bolts on it. You also find the. Well, no, she would have had her pack because she thought she may have to run. You'll find a. You'll find the talisman that was left behind. You will not find your Thardak uh, tusk. Womp womp. Okay. Well, I have her amulet. Yeah, but apparently that tusk was uh more important than that amulet. It was just a shard. You got more of it than I did. 
I mean, she didn't was it dumb enough to go in there with it. Uh, and then I'm going to use the Wand of Secrets. Uh, it will not reveal anything within the space of the house. It seems that it was just her and her kobolds and whatever they were carrying on them. I'm going to take the dice, too. You may I'm take a, the dice from their game. I want to tell uh, Token and be like, hey, come use that little wandy thing of yours over here at this warehouse where this one guy disappeared at. Do you guys want to maybe take some time to recover before you go roaming off into another combat? I mean, I'm okay. That's a fine enough attitude for you to have. <laughs> uh, Silk, Silk is in Stone Hill and eating soup. Okay. Also, if it takes Silk has an hour to, to get end. back to me, I am taking my short rest while eating soup in... <laughs> Okay. It's fine. Me and, uh, me Toblen and, will wake up the town master, and you may relay the events of your encounter to the two gentlemen. Uh, I tell them my part and say my companions will eventually regale you with whatever happened before I started chasing that redheaded woman through your town. Toblin and Harbin seem particularly concerned. They had suspected that you all may have dealt with the cult of Talos with all of the punting of them you all did during your first outing with them. They seem concerned about the continued presence of them here. Uh, what do the, two, the other two of you want to do? Uh, Silk is clearly going to take a break. <laughs> I'm ready. I want to go find this other fucker now. We got this little wandy thingy that uh, Token has. Come on, Token. You can go find them, but you're basically going with Token, who has no features left as well, if you're going to force the issue. Now, hold on, Jazzy. I haven't marked the short rest yet. Oh, my bad. Uh, Is it one Just as a note, you can go get into a situation, but you're going to go into a situation with your warlock with limited to no features. And you are the grumpiest person when things don't go well at the table. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Fine. Asking you if you want to do this and if Token no, wants to cooperate with you. We're fine. I'm fine. Also, I don't know if Token can actually get to his stuff right now. I don't, yeah, I don't think he could have gotten to Yeah, the we're going to have to review the rules on how your shit is in and out of places, by the way, August. If you're putting it in this goddamn ring of yours, you can only go in and out of it once per day. Yeah, <laughs> which means that the one I'll there let from you two have it. Ago. I'll let you have it out for now, because I'm gonna. I don't want to make this overly granular, but your things are not simultaneously in the ring when it's convenient and out of the ring when it's also convenient. It has I rules. Say too. I can like shake it out. <laughs> no, things are either in the ring or they're not. You have to go into it to get them out. Okay. Well, then I need a long rest. What do you guys want to do? I just you rest. can take a short rest and go investigate the warehouse. You can take a long rest and go maybe investigate the warehouse. It's up to you guys. Either way, I want to investigate that warehouse. If we can't get the wand until eight, a long rest, then we might as well long rest. And I've already allowed him to use the wand, so I'll presume for the sake of this that he maybe just hid it somewhere nearby. Because... He just didn't leave it. He didn't leave it. I don't want to com gear. I don't want to complicate the information that I've given and retcon things. It's my least favorite thing. Okay. <laughs> so decide. Are you guys going to go to the warehouse immediately? Short rest and then go to the warehouse, or long rest and then investigate the warehouse? Short rest and then go is okay. what I, all I need. I, uh, I don't know about six. short rest. Yeah. Okay. You may continue rolling hit dice if you want, Silk. Token, you may also roll hit dice if you want. She got me with that one hit. I didn't like it. <laughs> It was so great! Like I'm like walking you through the game, you're like, ooh, I'm I'm gonna beat these guys. Pow! Shot in the chest! 
<laughs> well, she she must have predicted my intent because I was going to say one more, and I was going to use sleight of hand to cheat. She has really strong oh, shit. She had Fuck. really strong uh, insight rolls early, so she suspected something was off with you. And the kobolds were told to watch you and report if you did anything unusual. Oh. So, uh, DJ. You would have known that it was August when he billowed his co- cloak for the extended period of time <laughs> in the outhouse that he did intentionally <laughs> so that you would see him, but the kobolds saw him instead, and it backfired. I mean, I that don't have dark so... Um, I'm 100% oh, sure it no, was for No, he didn't you. see it, though. Like, that's the problem. Yeah, like, I uh, didn't see it. I don't have dark He had an eye on the house, but, like, they're at the outhouse. And everybody who went to the outhouse had dark vision, so they didn't need light. Yeah, that that was it. I I thought it was I thought it was for our our. Uh, okay, you <laughs> all venture back to the warehouse. Uh, for the sake of brevity, we'll use your passive stealth rolls, which are very high for this party. <laughs> so you may it's re-enter. So you may re-enter the warehouse. It remains Zika. empty. Use your little wandy thingy. Find this trap door, please. Thank you. This is okay. your last charge of the day, because you've used it twice already, I believe. My cape is billowing, and I use the wand. When your cape billows, a crossbow bolt fires out from the... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right in the back of the head. <laughs> bah! I can just imagine the face August made. Like, really? Come on. <laughs> I did make a face. His, his jaw just, just, like, there's a his, limit. <laughs> there's his, his jaw just dropped. I heard it hit the floor <laughs> over here in my room. <laughs> he was not. He was not expecting a... it. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. You should have. <sighs> you should have done it. <laughs> well, before that, I was going to ask where is the warehouse on this map? Because I feel like she would have attacked me again. Oh, wait, the cult, the kobolds all had uh, hidden symbols of the cult of Talos on them. Let's see. Oh, you guys didn't get that. We didn't investigate the kobolds yet. Take one. Uh, no, nah, it's something that she has on herself. Oh. My stuff. She's going to be hunted now. <laughs> the hunter has become the hunted. And it's Learn. broken, not not tired, not not tired. I tie knots. Oh, not tired. Okay. I see. I thought it was N O T T I R E. Okay. Uh, you use the Wand of Secrets. It points to the location of a secret door, which follows a ladder underneath this warehouse. All right. I'm going to go first. You don't okay. know where it is. I mean, the Wand points to it, so he knows where it is. Okay. <laughs> spins your palm and directs us directly <laughs> to the thing that we've been searching for twice. Uh, you want to you enter a cellar in this building. Let's see how many of these things are there. Because I now have to oh. run again. Oh, okay. Oh, initiative. <laughs> Depends on, do they notice us the moment the door creaks open? Probably if there's a torch lit. Probably. I didn't say there's a torch lit. I just yeah, unfortunately, the creatures person. here don't really. Like, the you specific interactions the creatures involve. Um, as you are going down into the space, Lock Fantasm, it's an empty cellar, but there's a fetid stench that you smell right away that immediately hits your nostrils and it reminds oh. you of the time you went into that dwarven stronghold. Uh, okay. You all to roll so I'm going to. Re- I'm going to climb back up the ladder. <laughs> I smell it. As soon as I start smelling it, I go right back up. Nope. <laughs> Fortunately for you, you rode poorly on the initiative this time. Mm. Multiple ghouls attempt to grab you. And an interesting individual. Can I reveal this image and disguise its name? 
This is fun because Jazzy's gonna recognize the art. I I know the encounter. Argus Seal Skeel. Let's see. The ghouls are going to. Oh, I hate running ghoul. Ghouls are not as good as they need to be. Counter is very, goal. very near and dear to my heart. Does and she look trans? Wait, is she, is she supposed to be familiar? Idle wave. It's a boy. Uh, it's just a familiar art that people who play oh. D and D might recognize. Oh my god, ghouls are so horrible. All right, La Phantasma, there are three ghouls around you. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to, well, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to shoot at one, and then I'm going to climb back up the ladder. Well, they're in five, within five feet of you, so probably want to just punch them at this point. Oh, God damn it. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do then, motherfuckers. Since they're already right here on my ass, I'm going to fucking turn around. I'm just going to start swinging. <laughs> Let's go. Go one. What is the most annoying thing that this creature has that I can force to use? That, 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 that. Nope. Got two power points back for that. Hmm. All right. All right, you're down one of the ghouls. <sighs> Token, what would you like to do? Do I see all of this? You can look down into the ladder and see that immediately two ghouls have surrounded, three ghouls surrounded La Phantasma, and he punched one of them to death just now. <laughs> Do I, I'll, I'll peek my head down further. It's just three or two. You can see seven. the other individual. They haven't moved yet, but you can see them. I'm going <laughs> to, well, I'm going to shoot them. Okay. With Phantasmal Killer. Oh. That's very different. Just succeeds. Holy shit. Oh, I'm no. glad because Phantasmal Killer is such an annoying spell. <laughs> does it even affect? It does. It's because it's a built around oh that's got to be wrong no it's wisdom save interesting on the field save target becomes frightened for the duration at the end of the creature's turn so the spell that's target must give us save target take 4d 10 psychic damage nope it just barely succeeds now, for some reason i thought i'm dead uh it's there some of most of them are immune to the charm condition but oh, okay. this isn't a charm yeah. because it's part of the illusion school got it okay is there anything else you want to do i'm gonna get back up Okay. I'm peek in, and I'm say, "Well, that's all for me." Let's see. This creature is going to move unusually quickly. Well, it's not fast. I'm just going to say it was unusual. It is going to strike La Phantasma and miss. And then it will attempt to strike La Phantasma. Again. Meow. And we'll also miss up. Interesting. <laughs> Silk. Uh, I would like to drop down into La Fantasma's space and strike out a skill. I think I'm going to make you make an athletics check. I'm going to look. You're going to end up in this space. But depending on the success of your athletics check, it's going to drastically alter the, the end of your turn. Because they rushed him, hearing you all coming in there after the door opened, because they have no reason to sleep, because they're undead. And, uh, uh, is, did this, uh, did the skill rush up and fill the space that the, um... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the there isn't... Oh. Make your athletics check. Yeah. 
the one time you don't roll well. <clears throat> uh, you will end up using all of your movement. You end up getting knocked prone in the fray behind the undead. Oh, no. Okay, that was my movement. Mm -hmm. Consumed your move. Didn't consume any of your actions, but it did consume your movement. Silk is going to yell up and out and say, Make it glow. Oh, okay. And <laughs> I'm going to rage. Alright. And attempt to grapple skeel. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. I rolled an 18. Second attack. Second attempt. I'm like, yes, vamp. Oh, you don't know what this is. Yes, my favorite creature to just beat up people with. Uh, All right, you have successfully grappled the creature. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, thrown and grapple with a creature. All right, the ghoul. Oh, I chose um, tail. This is interesting for you because ghouls are a little bit mindless. Well, they're not totally mindless, but they're going to try and eat you because you're prone. Mm -hmm. It's an 18. Nope. I'm using it. Not using? Nope. Okay, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand. Out of the threats you available to me, that is not the one. Don't you worry, I understand. All right. Oh, did I roll damage? Nope. All right, where's my damage? I rushed to my effect. You take four slashing damage. Bum, 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 bum. Goal three. I think they're going to try and hit you too, because you're prone. Oh, all these crits are not the things I really want to crit you with. I can't complain. I got a crit off on a rogue. <laughs> Three Let's quarters see. of my health with your rogue. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of phantasma. Uh, Silk seems a little uh, compromised as the ghouls are now trying to paralyze him with their disgusting claws. All right, he's got one grapple than the two, so I'm just going to jump down on one and. All right. Uh, All right. So I get two back for him both. Oh, there it is. You win. Nice. All right. Uh, does that go into slashing, Dan? Does that roll over? No. You, you, have, <laughs> no. To, you have to one-shot the creature for it to work. That's fine. No. Um, and then... Kind of cool that rogues can probably trigger that the most consistently, if you think about it. Oh, that's There's something to think that. about. Um, and that is my bonus action and action. And I'm dead. All right, Token, what you got? Well... He told me to do this, and you didn't move, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> okay. Drop the effect on all of them, and then we'll see what happens. No, 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 don't roll it. Just drop the last effect on them. Let's see, gotta make sure it goes on to Argus too. 
Yep. Okay, good. One, two, three. Somebody got missed. Silk. Silk got missed. I I passed. It doesn't trigger until your turn. Which oh, is okay. why sickening radiance is. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's why I got dropped. Most, that's why it was one of the most then. annoying spells before we had all these mods. Because it's one that only triggers on a person's turn. Uh, drop the concentration on yourself, August. The very first effect, I believe. And then I'm going to back away. Like, well, all right, I guess, you asked. I guess they're down there so I can hide. No! <laughs> this changes things. <laughs> Level of exhaustion. Well, the exhaustion's not necessarily the issue. It's the radiant damage he's taking. Uh, that's a twenty-two. Uh, Are you gonna react? Was that a claw or a bite? That was a claw. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong one, but it's the same row. He cannot bite you yet. Oh, I am, I've got to be grappled in order for him to bite or something like that? Okay. Um, 16 plus 8 plus 5. 17. 17. I might as well try to get the, the damage off. I'll use my reaction. That changes you to 24? Yes. Okay. It's going to hit you again. Okay. Instead of doing damage to you, he is going to choose to grapple you. Okay. Oh. We are both grappled. I cannot stand <laughs> up. He cannot get away. Silk, what would you like to do? Oh, first let's resolve this. You just succeed and you are not affected by Token's effect. Alaric is not here. Oh, I just went ahead and ran your whole goddamn turn. <laughs> uh, that gonna die. Uh, before I do all this other stuff, go ahead and manage your turn, Silk. I'm sorry, I clicked through. I, uh, there. I hand Lothantasma a potion of invulnerability. Say, drink this. Oh. And then I attack the. Uh, <laughs> I go reckless on the creature. And attack it with my tail. Using the potion now? I'm excited. When is it ever going to get used? I'd rather not ever. I don't die. know. There's some die pretty, there's some pretty brutal stuff coming. No, no reason to. Uh, I'm not prone. But how did I still have? Uh, yeah, the grab hold. Yeah. Did you go reckless? I did go reckless. It should have been a straight roll. Uh, I don't reckless. see the reckless effect as active. Um. Seems. Oh, it's not my turn. Jump. That's why it oh, didn't okay. go off. Here, uh, let, me let me just jump here. Go ahead. Let me let me roll that attack. <laughs> uh, yeah. Drop the reckless effect back on you. Is it not there? Nope. There. It's not. Roll your attacks. Oh no. All right. Ooh. I got Orcish Fury back. Yeah, short that reset rest. with the short rest. Yeah, yeah so I know. I was it. just scrolling down to make sure. <laughs> I, I am going to use it. Oh, I just, I needed to, I dragged the, the attack roll. Oh, no. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to okay. modifiers, right? So just toggle on the critical. Just hit critical yeah. at the bottom left. And make sure that it activate the, the Activate the Orcish Fury effect. Uh, it's, I just add an extra die. Okay. Yeah. And there's Oh my god. All right. That was your first attack? Uh, Second yeah. attack. Ooh, okay, I handed off I handed off that, that potion. Was that my action or was that my free action? Because then that damage doesn't happen. Make a dexterity check. Because you're dealing with a lot currently. Yeah, 
I but I I realized that the 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 whole thing. I'll allow it this time since you rolled well on that check. My bad. I'm not gonna roll damage on that extra attack. Okay. You let me. I let. All right. Oh, he's dead. Uh. All right. La Fantasma's turn starts. La Fantasma fails. Oh no. You also have one level of exhaustion. Okay. Good. All right. It is your uh, turn. What would you like to do? Well, I am going to punch this bitch in the face. Okay. No, I'm not. That misses. That misses. I'm going to climb back up the ladder. Okay. And get the fuck out. Since uh, Argus is going going. to make an opportunity attack uh, as you were attempting to leave. Now, uh, DJ, there's a potion and vulnerability in the party sheet that you party sheet. should have them fucking grab it and drink it in front of you. That'd be the most boss ass thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. They lose. they miss as you were attempting to leave. Alright. Anything else you want to do, La Fantasma? Uh I'm gonna yell down to Silk. Good luck. <laughs> Um, and... The token, what do you want to do? Um, I can still see him. I'm going to say because of the small cellar that you just cast that spell into, you will not be able to see him without becoming subject to the effects of your own spell. Okay, I'm going to close it and put the movable rod on top. <laughs> I mean, you can't even get close to it. Like It's, it's, it's coming out the hole, of, too. Yeah, it's more than 30 foot. Or the because it's a like it's a small CA. cellar and you have a big spell. Oh well, I have a a stick, <laughs> like a, a staff. I'll say, I'll say you can use like your mage hand and carry the rod over there. Oh, but you need oh, I don't have a mage hand. Spell. Wait, yeah. do it? Did I swap it out? I don't know. I'm gonna say for the sake of this, you are maybe just rooting for silk right now. Yeah, okay. I'll just chuck a uh, alchemist fire down there. Heart of the conscience. You're just gonna throw one hit. down there? <laughs> yeah. Oh my not? god. Make a dexterity saving throw, Silk. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> who who needs enemies with friends like these? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, Argus rolled a twenty-five. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Let me five. pull up alchemist. Let me pull. You're on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. I take a d4 every round. There's an effect you could drag yep. into me. I am. Don't worry. I'm grabbing it right now. <laughs> All right. So, cause on fire. Argus. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I have to apply this stuff again. No. No, it stays up. It stays. Oh, Argus is in such bad condition. Oh, good. You guys, like a level of exhaustion. Yeah, so attack rolls are now this is exhaustion too. It is. Let me modify this exhaustion too. Let's see if it works the way I expect it to. Argus is going to attempt because he is fucked. He is gonna bite silk. Yep, things worked. Yeah, it's a straight. Yeah, that because I'm from everything worked. I'd like to. Uh, that's a action. sixteen hilt. Okay, well that's gonna. Not it. <laughs> Let's see. The way his multi attack works. Vampire makes two attacks, only which can be a bite attack. Oh well. That bees how it works. Wait, so I just I Oh uh twenty will hit with the claws. Yep. You avoided the bite. You get your tail up and poke his face, and he cannot... <laughs> can, slap can, with the tip, slap can, with the tip can, of your tail. I, no, you. I don't think I've described no. the tail, but it's a scorpion tail. It's it's a barbed stinger. It just doesn't exude venom. Alright, so you get burned at the start of your turn. You mm-hmm. do not take a second level of exhaustion, however. Huh? What would you like to do? I'd like to break his grapple? That consumes your action. Make yes. an athletic check. 
Let's see. Does his grapple have an escape DC? Let me make sure I'm running this correctly. Uh, da, 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 da. Claws, the target is grappled. Yep, you can break out. You are no longer grappled. I'd like to stand, so I'm going to let you You may do so. Thank you. You are no longer prone. You are no longer grappled. You are on fire. I'm going to continue to take damage, and I don't have to worry about keeping rage up. Okay. You don't have a tur I don't have an action to put it out. <laughs> All right. My phantasma should not be treated as under the effects of sickening radiance anymore. What would you like to do? Um. Do I see Argus? It's the same role. It's the same conditions as the rest of them. If you want to go in there and be seen by Argus, you will immediately take uh, the effects of sickening radiance. And I'm going to roll it again because. We're not going to treat the first roll because that's not part of your choice. Okay. You want to go see him? You have to walk back in a sickening radiance. I. Uh, I think Silk seems fine. He seems all right. I'm gonna just hold <laughs> you pew ready. And get, but if our guest so comes in dying sight, on the other side, no, I'm not. <laughs> 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 if I see Argus through this little hole, I'm a shooter. But... Token after eating an alchemist fire, you don't hear any sounds of pain from Argus, but you hear Silk groaning. Oh no! Token is <laughs> fantastic. I think he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's still alive. We hear him. <laughs> Holy shit! So anything else? Yeah, right, you want to just hold your attack? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna hold my attack. Token, what would you like to do? I'm just gonna I'm gonna just call out let me let me know when you need help. <laughs> Are Holy you okay? Sh <laughs> Holy shit. Uh but I'm gonna like let me see. I'm gonna throw something else down there. Shit. <laughs> 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 Hey, so, uh, hey, so just hold, just hold this do we for have, a do we have any of our regular viewers tonight? Is Turbo Nobody's with us? Here. Nobody's here. Nobody's seen this. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo, Turbo has watched a lot of our games, and like oh, the Wheelman God. parties are like, we are going to protect our friends. This party's like, he's fine. <laughs> <Throws> <laughs> <away>. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Holy God. shit! <laughs> what you got, Token? Cover your face. I'm I'm just gonna throw a a water skin. <laughs> hey, water skin's gonna be at my feet. Skin. Did you out. see? <laughs> okay. Oh, he had disadvantage on saving throws at that. And that's oh, womp womp. <laughs> Uh, the sickening radiance kills the creature. Silk's turn arrives. Silk takes damage. Does not take another level of exhaustion. What would you like to do with Silk? I would like to pick that water skin up and douse the flames and yell, It's just me! It's just me! Stop, please, stop! And then... <laughs> do you believe him, Token? Do you turn off sickening radiance? <laughs> <laughs> is this just a ruse? Or is Silk really safe? I, I think we may I never got know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. Another, uh, another, another uh, viewer that has been here a long time. Uh, Sevenster, uh, he was here from Red Handed Doom, said, Flask of Oil would do nicely. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers were trying to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm dying. Literally, literally. I have, wait, do I, I have another Alchemist Fire. I don't know, maybe I should throw it down there just to be safe. You're all evil. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean... Very different game than our first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh goodness. All right. I've woken up the dog. So, <laughs> combat will end from there. 
It seems you all stumbled into the lair of a vampire spawn and some ghouls. Oh. Uh, all the exhaustion ends when the spell ends. Oh. Well, that's good. That's Let's search good. him. Yep. <laughs> search his cellar, search his everything. But before that, <laughs> just, I just, my shirt. My man, leather armor. It's like you okay? You were in, you were in there a while. <laughs> Singed. Uh, <laughs> silk, silk smelling takes of burnt some hair. ash off of his forehead and face, <laughs> and rubs it Looking. onto the goblin's neck and says, "Here you go." Oh, no. And then, and then I glance at La Fantasma. I see. see we're connected. <laughs> oh, and I just do a hard <sighs> eye roll. Just a hard eye roll and shake oh my, my head. Let's That'd see. Be... The ghouls work for Skrill. They have the same skull marks you all noticed from the attack on the wayside in when you all first dealt with the, those undead. His oh. clothes skills are riddled with thorns and barbed seeds from plants that could only be found in the Mirror of Dead Men. I'll give you that since you went there, and you guys don't have a lot of nature in this party. <clears throat> uh, Silk goes and looks through the ghoul's uh, personals and sees to see if any of the things match. Ghouls don't have personals. Oh, I have oh yeah, it does match the missing people. Yeah. yeah, that was what I was going for. Oh, now you'll You'll be able to confirm that. None of their valuables are here, but you'll be able to figure out. You'll be able to, with the help of the town master and asking around in the morning, you'll be able to verify these things. I'm going to take the vampire's fangs. Make a nature check. How about you just take its whole head? I don't want the head. I just want the fangs. I lost my tooth. Oh my goodness. Make a no. Arcana Let's check. See what I'm trying to see what vampire spawn have. If there's anything he's going to be potentially affected by. Poison. No, because it's no longer animated. Oh uh, no! Oh, you'll be able to get a tooth out. Nice. And was he carrying anything? Uh, no, they don't give me any sort of identifying things. Um, the rogue lady had some identifying things, but I ran her maximally. Mostly because I've been tormented by rogues for two years. So <laughs> Every every time that Sarge gets to run a rogue against me, he does it the same Jazzy way. Jazzy ran an effective rogue. Valk ran a rogue. Their table had two rogues at it. They had an assassin and an arcane trickster. I was, was the anything least else? damage oriented of those rogues that you speak of. You were a fighter. I don't have any sympathies <laughs> for you. Uh, uh, Silk would like to at least spend the night in the Stonehill Inn and then load up everything and talk to the town master about missing pe persons in the morning. Yeah, with all of this kerfuffle, they seem really uh, concerned about everything that's going on. And tell you assure you that they're going to reach out to the lord never ember about this potential cult activity but they are once again thankful that these heroes returned to Vandalin and I mean, rescued them from yet another threat uh sir uh silk breaks the the bad news to lintin craywind that her assistance and her help part of a cult and the <clears throat> Lady, the elf is at large and dangerous. Well, that's very unfortunate. She was at least a useful assistant for a while. Um, they, she assures you that they are going to try and backtrack her. <clears throat> the, the information they gave them and see if that will hopefully lead to some information on the cultists. But unfortunately, she got away with her stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, Silk will ask Oaken mm -hmm. 
found anything about the lightning strikes hitting people. If there was any anything in her stuff that they were the the reason for getting struck. I have a three bolt amulet. That's about all I can share. She didn't talk about much. She thought I looked amazing. She rolled a 23 on her first initial insight check, so she said yeah. something was off with token right away. I just got these dice and this amulet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, Silk was like, we'll go, go to the mine exchange to go to the arts and we can leave. Are we still yeah. in Harbin's office? You can be. Is there anything you want to say to Harbin? I look at the board. I look uh, at there the... are some low-level quests appropriate for Tier 1 characters that are thrown up there. They're very basic, and it looks like he was scrambling to just get, get something on the board for you. I say, good for you. You look like a town master. <laughs> <laughs> we solved this little problem you told me about yesterday. Good job. Do any of them? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna scribble one real quick. You want to? You want to put up your own quest? All right. What's your quest? Looking for student, um, and I'm gonna draw a picture of me. Okay. It's gonna be like a Superman pose. Please direct inquiries to the town of Leyland. <laughs> The island next to Idol Island. Okay. Is there any sort of incentive you're leaving behind for prospective students? What details are you offering in this posting? My 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 lake house apparently. A heroic legacy. Okay. You will be a hero. Period. <laughs> okay. I'll figure out what to do with this later. I'm gonna get some mm -hmm. weird foolhardy people. Right, I'm gonna just get like a bandit. That's like, <laughs> I'm ready to be a hero! <laughs> I don't wanna turn my life around. It's okay. It'll work. <laughs> oh, I'm excited! I'm gonna come up with something in reaction to this. Is there anything you all want to knock out in Fandolin before I close the session? I need to session? buy a great boat, uh, a longbow. <laughs> buy a longbow. Okay, well, you can acquire a longbow. It's all. I, f I forgot to do it when we first arrived. I suppose you need to get at least twenty arrows too. Yes, uh, quiver and twenty arrows. Okay. All right, longbow is fifty. Quiver is a gold. Arrows, I think, are gold for twenty. So, was that 52? 52 gold. Yeah. I played too much D&D. &D. I should not know this much random. Uh, so are you sure it's not All right. 50 to sell? Isn't a longbow 100? No, it's 50 to purchase. I think it's 25. To purchase. Hmm, let's check. I thought, I thought a longbow was more expensive. Long bow. All right, guys. Um, I'm out of Another here. Fish. All right, DJ. Y'all have a good night. Good job, guys. Y'all have a good night. Good night. If you don't hunt down the cultists, it makes you feel better. They attack you at the same time. And you have a three-pronged battle to deal with. That would have really sucked for you. Yeah, the vampire and the cultists? Yes. Simultaneous at the carts when we're loading. In the early morning before the sun the sunrise well look joining a cult really helped <laughs> that's definitely the right takeaway <laughs> i love the very specific role play you bring to the session every week august <laughs> My favorite thing about D&D is because the players are usually going to succeed, it's very easy to have your character just run away with bad takes as, like, the fundamentals of their character. <laughs> and then they're like, well, am I wrong? And it's like, 
Technically, no. Add that to the list of the times when Jazzy's like, nuke me, and the party did. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. It's a funny session. We'll pick up in Fandolin as you all are heading back next week as new drama will arise. We gotta get Magnus to make the two uh, downtime activity rolls to see if that uh, magical great axe. I don't think we're gonna downtime this one. Oh, okay. This week. I think we're just gonna continue for the next day. Well, no, I'll do it the normal way because I want you guys to be able to use well, your downtime. Well, I figured we'll head back to it's going to. He, no, he we'll do. A... I'll let you head back to Fandlin and we'll just do the, the last wayside in one from Layla the way it normally gets rewarded out. Uh, I don't know if Magnus is around. Do you want to do your magic item rolls? I guess it's out of life. <laughs> Probably late. I exhausted. So I'm not expected. But I'm gonna stop streaming now.